Let's talk about profiles. Profiles are a way in Safeguard to group a couple of settings and schedules and policies wherever this needs to be assigned to. So one of the things you may have seen partitions or entity associated profiles already was in the, in the, as we created an asset. So if you go back to an asset and maybe you just click on our dummy asset, you're going to see that by default it is assigned to some profile that is the macrocosm profile and this belongs to a partition that is the default partition macrocosm. If you want to change that profile or have a deeper look into it, just click on Browse. And you then can select it here or you can just click on the plus sign to create your own profile for that asset. So just give it a name, click on Next. And then the next thing you see is Check Password. And this is something that's called a Check Password Schedule. Uh, as we have just mentioned before, if you have an account on an asset, then the passwords can be checked if the password information stored in Safeguard for an account on that asset is still the one that is valid for the account on the asset itself. And Safeguard just simply tries to log in with the information in its own internal database to that asset uh, using that account. And if, the, if it can log in or if it can verify something depending on the logic, then uh, it associates this as the password on both sides will be matching. Otherwise, it treats them a little bit different. And to define this, when this check should occur, you can just simply click on the plus sign and do something here like to define a schedule. So if you give it a name, my password check, and click on the schedule, then you can define run it every whatever, every week on Sunday. And you have the option to change the passwords on mismatch. So if somebody has changed the password of the accounts out of bound, you can change them to the to a new one. So simply generate a random one. Or if you find this is a security issue or incident, then you can notify somebody that this change has occurred or that this situation has occurred. And if you have both of them, you can notify somebody and of course uh, set the password to a new random value. Simply click on OK and you have now defined your own check password schedule. The same one is on the change password and you can have your own change password run by simply clicking, clicking on plus. And here you can just simply define the schedule as well. And then you have to uh, have, they have multiple options here. And the other one that is pretty much important and only visible to Windows systems is if you change a password that is used by other systems or is shared um, um, uh, across other assets and used for their internal services, you can notify them as well and change uh, the processes that are running on these boxes to a restart or whatever to consume the new changed password. But this is only available for Windows. Okay, and if you click on that, you have configured this here and now you can have something like an ac account password rule. This is simply the uh, mechanism here, how to generate passwords for the account on that asset. So in this case, you may want to have it starting with 12 characters and going up to whatever 255 characters. It only allows 99. Yeah, it is 255 characters. You can have the first character set, the alpha characters, how many lower cases, and so on. All the various options you, you, you are pretty familiar with for password complexity rules. You can test the rules. You can allow symbols, whatever. Here you have the test rules, so that's a very nice password. And then simply click on OK. And it is then assigned in that profile. If you click on the Create Profile, and now you can assign that profile to your asset. Simply click OK, and you're done. Very easy, straightforward. Another nice feature in Safeguard is partitions. Partitions are some kind of logical containers you can group a couple of informations and assets and all this kind of stuff into to make management more easier. So if you click in the management client on partitions, you're going to see the list of partitions already defined. And it's very easy to find your own partition. Just click on the plus sign and give it a name like my partition. And it will 
give you the choice to give to set some delegated owner to this partition. So I just put my name here. So this is a user inside Safeguard who is then the delegated owner of that partition. And he's ha it has some kind of special permission. So you will have partition permissions if you assign an owner via this form over here. In this case, just click on Add Partition. And now you have your own partition defined here. And if you click on the partition, you see assets, accounts, profiles, and a couple of something that's called history, just a history of things that have occurred to that partition. Um, but if you want, for instance, assign an asset to that partition, you can click on the plus sign and, and maybe move my asset to that partition. And now my asset is assigned to that partition. If you go to the asset itself and you double click on the my asset, you're going to see that the partition now has changed to my partition before it was the standard macrocosm default partition. So you can either change it directly on the asset itself or you can do it via the partition management setting. And if you go back to the partition again, the same applies if you want to move accounts to that partition or if you want to manage profiles to that partition as well. So it's pretty easy to group things here.